Louisiana Beer Reviews, Dixie Beer. Dixie Brewing Company was established in New Orleans, Louisiana in 1907, and except for prohibition, it brewed the beer continuously until Katrina hit in August 2005. The hurricane did do some damage to the brewery, but the biggest amount of damage was caused by people breaking into the brewery and these criminals stole all the copper out of the brewery from the kettles and all kind of other equipment. And so the brewery, which had no insurance on the building, could not reopen. And now it's currently brewed by Minhas Craft Brewery in Monroe, Wisconsin. Here's an early Dixie beer bottle from around 1963, I'm guessing. Here's an early can. It's from around the late 70s. Dixie Lager Beer. Here we have a later can, and I know what year this is from because it says 75th anniversary, 1982. It has a picture of the brewery on the can. And here's a later bottle from before Katrina. And I went to the brewery a month before Katrina hit, and I was inside there looking around, and they were having a beer can collector show. It was sad to see what happened to the last big brewing company in New Orleans. It says, slowly aged in Louisiana Cypress wood barrels, brewed with crystal clear water, genuine barley malt, choice hops, select grains, and pure yeast. Well, the new bottle doesn't say anything about uh, pure, you know, uh, Cypress barrels. And I don't know about the water. They used to get the water from the Mississippi River, so, but I haven't really noticed a big change in the taste. So here's a bottle of the Dixie post Katrina. Dixie is four and a half percent alcohol or 4.6 percent depending on which website you look at. There is no Dixie beer website so you can't go to the brewer. And Minhas Craft Brewery isn't showing anything. It gets a very fine rating on the beer in me. It gets a below average rating on rate beer and it gets a C on beer advocate. I gave it a higher rating. I believe it was a B. What I gave it. Okay. Let's get started with this review. Oh, it was a twist cap. I didn't need the opener. Huh. Oh well. Just rinsed out this Dixie glass. Now, before Katrina, you could get this beer very inexpensively, about $4 a six-pack. Now, it's selling for around 7 or 8 All right, a thick white head, a clear golden appearance, lots of bubbles streaming up the glass, as you can see. Now we're going to give it the smell test. All right. Dixie has an interesting uh, aroma. You can really pick up the barley, uh, other types of grains, I suppose. Um, It's uh, almost a yeasty, maybe a bready smell. Uh, certainly not a neutral aroma like other American style lagers. So it has a good appetizing aroma, in my opinion. And the most important thing now is the taste test. Pick up the barley, the, the, uh, maybe it's rice, you get a lot of yeast here, a breadiness, uh, being that it's just a stereotypical American style lager, 
you do have a light hot profile, but it is more pronounced than your Coors, Miller, Budweiser, Paps. So you do pick up the hops at the end of the taste, but it's a it's a pleasant hot bitterness. Um, if you drink Schlitz, like I was drinking Schlitz um, this past weekend, and um, you really pick up the hot bitterness with the Schlitz. This is a, more of a, um, I don't know, a delicate hop aroma, I would say. But it is a round, balanced beer. And you do pick up some sourness with Dixie. It's an odd, I, maybe I'm using the wrong word, but I've always used that term, sourness. Not a bad sour at all. And I think some people don't like it because it's more of an old style American beer as opposed to the more modern American beers that you've had around since World War II. So this is more of the old traditional American uh, lager recipe. The mouthfeel is light and watery. Maybe a little shade toward medium. It is crisp, it's dry, it's refreshing, very refreshing. Yes, I'm going to give this a B plus. I think it's very good. I've been drinking this since 1996 when I started drinking beer. I highly recommend you giving Dixie a try. They also make the Blackened Voodoo and apparently they still make the Crimson Voodoo Ale, but I have not seen that. And there's also a Dixie Light Amber. It's called Jazz. Um, so if you get a chance, check it out. If you come down to Louisiana, many, many restaurants and bars still serve Dixie. It does still have a following down here. So, uh, Les Ailes, Bon Ton Roulé. This is a very good beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to Hammond, Louisiana.